G'day guys and welcome to Feedback Friday here at Zuchu, your home of bodyweight training. Guys, Feedback Friday is your opportunity to hear the effect, the positive effect, and the different aspects that Zoo can help in people's lives. But it's also your opportunity to have your testimonial uh, featured here on Feedback Friday. Now guys, this one comes in from Mr. James Stride over there in the UK. There's a picture there of James Stride uh, serving in the British Army. I'll get straight into it. So James served a nine year career in the British Army and then he went into uh, Her Majesty's Prison Service as a physical education officer. James uh, talks here, I'll just paraphrase this guys because a lot of the testimonials are very detailed as people pour out their hearts, but to, um, to keep it brief as I can, I'll just paraphrase. Uh, James said that um, basically his life changed uh, in 2012 after suffering a spinal injury following many years of wear on my vertebrae disc carrying weight in the army. And I lost all feeling in my leg and for a brief while I had to use a wheelchair. And there's a picture there of Mr. James Stride in a wheelchair. He said, I very slowly started to recover and get back into training, but I never felt safe and completely confident despite endless physio, osteopath, and chiropractor sessions. I thought I understood movement and what I needed to do, but it wasn't until I got into Zoo that I truly discovered how to help my back for real. Isn't that wonderful, guys, where someone has had this scary experience it's not until usually someone is injured where they really start to delve in to try and work out how to help themselves. And movement is the universal language of humans. And even though he'd been to the osteos, physios, and chiros, he was able to find true value inside the space of zoo. James is now, again paraphrasing, been a PT for many years. And then I'd like to read this to you. He said, by using zoo, I have managed to help one client return to skiing and uh, regular long distance cycling after a ruptured knee ligament and another client returned to marathon running after knee injuries had prevented her from doing so for many, many years. These are two of the countless examples of how Zoo has improved, improved the lives of my clients through increased mobility and strength in different ranges. And he finishes by saying I would 100% recommend Zoo. So guys, what are we talking about there? with Mr. James Stride. Well, it starts off with him being injured, very experienced being in the army for nearly a decade. And then him being injured, suffering this injury, and then not being confident on his road to recovery, being able to rehab himself, rehab himself which is empowering. Does that make sense? The philosophy of Zoo is if you inspire one, you can inspire many. And so what is James doing now? Well, obviously I read two examples of many where James is finding an entry point for clients to help them do what they love longer. Isn't that soul enriching for James? Guys, this next one comes from a mate of mine, uh, Mr. Lionel Harbin in Rockhampton over there in Queensland, Australia. And he titles it, The Power of Zoo. And I'll just paraphrase it again. His journey started by chance in 2012 when he brought an indigenous team to me at HQ. Little did I know that my whole outlook on training and life in general was about to change in the process from the first session with Nath I like to call it the power of zoo. He said, I'm happy to just do zoo now. I'm not saying that everyone has to do that, but he said, uh, from 21 years uh, in Queensland, when I had my first operation, first of six operations on my knee, it's fair to say after each operation, I felt older and older. I'll never get the range of my frog squats, no egos, never say never, brother, but my joints have never felt better, and I'm 40 years young. I walk around pain-free, feel good mentally, live a healthy lifestyle, and I'm happy, the power of Zoo. Now as a Zoo affiliate, I am proud to be given the opportunity to share what I have learned with my community in Rockhampton. In schools, sporting teams, youth groups, kids, community organizations, government organizations, and people with disabilities. That's the spectrum that you learn inside Zoo. And guys, I'll finish with this, and this is something close to my heart as well. There are many success stories at Zoo Rock Hampton, but one that I'm very proud of is the high percentage of Aboriginal, Torres Strait and South Sea Island people who attend our sessions. It is well documented of the health issues Indigenous populations face, and to see firsthand the impact Zoo has had on their lives is truly inspirational. I don't just mean the physical benefits, but overall health and well-being. 
the power of zoo. So guys, what are we talking about there with Mr. Lionel Harbin? Well, obviously we're talking about the different aspects of zoo and the different uh, groups that zoo can help, but then we're also being able to talk about and help break down the social, racial, gender barriers and then help the wonderful indigenous community who are at a high risk and to, for, for him to see it helping his people is soul enriching. And if you heard him, he said it doesn't just help the physical component, overall health and well-being. So we're also talking about the social and the mental health of people. That is just amazing. Zoo has been likened to, many times when I present in the medical field, they liken Zoo to this vehicle of change. Nathan, we brought you in here because we thought it was just going to be mobility, but with this culture, this inclusive culture, we're now talking about social and mental aspects of health being positively affected. So we had Mr. James Stride being injured, feeling vulnerable, then going on this journey of rehabbing himself and then being able to pass that knowledge on to his people. We have Mr. Lionel Harbin again, six operations, feeling older, thinking that's it, but now he's walking around pain free. And then he's able to be inspired and then he can go and inspire his wonderful community and the other organizations he's working with. Guys, that's Feedback Friday. Please continue to send your testimonials in. I'll do my best to feature them here. And please draw inspiration. Please draw inspiration that Zoo is so much more than training. We are people first, fitness second. We have this inclusive culture that covers the physical, social, mental aspects of health and it flows like water into all areas of life, okay? Feedback Friday here at ZooTube, your home of bodyweight training. Get a touch, sub so